All right, uh, we're going to talk about the boys' side of the Palatine Invite now for the 2013 edition. Um, I mean, I think it pretty much uh, this year seems to start with uh, Elmhurst York. Uh, they lost this meet last year to uh, St. Xavier, Kentucky, who's back this year. Um, we're really happy to have them back, but um, it looks like on paper that York's going to be the big favorite. Um, they won down in Peoria Notre Dame last weekend with 80-some uh, points, and they were 60 points ahead of uh, Illinois number 2 O'Fallon. Um, definitely pretty tough. They had uh, two guys run 14-40, 14-42. Their number three was 14-47. Uh, their number four, Kyle Mattis, uh, I think was 1507, but has been all state. Uh, he was all state last year and 29th as a sophomore, and I think he uh, was coming off kind of a rocky track season. So once they get him uh, in on those other three, they're going to be. And then they had a sophomore run 15. Yeah, yeah. They had a sophomore in the varsity run 15 18, John May, and then Max Denning, another sophomore, ran 15 14 and looked like really good doing it. So. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if those sophomores will be up, but obviously they're in play. Uh, definitely another really tough York team. I mean, those guys looked really under control and really strong last week. Just I just ran together most yeah, of Yeah, I saw for, for the most part the top three ran together, and they were, like I told my guys, my guys were hammering in the back loop, and, uh, and those guys came by like a freight train. So obviously very fit. Uh, one of the things I'm really excited about is that we've got, I think, um, three other state champion teams uh, re returning. We've got um, Chicago Jones, who was a cool, great, great addition last year. I think yeah. they only lost our varsity meet by two points. They were the class two-way state champs last year. Now, I think they graduated three of that top five, especially the two best guys. But yeah. um, I remember seeing uh, Coach Edelman during track and thinking like, man, how, you know, is it fair to have six sophomores breaking 440 in the mile? Or whatever it is, it was it was it was quite a bit. So I know he's filling in with a lot of those guys, and he's got um, uh, Scheibel and Maloney, two guys back from that that scoring five. So I mean they'll they'll be real good. And then we've got um, St. Louis Uni High, who's won I think three of the last six years in the big class in Missouri. Uh, I know they had a real good sophomore class last year. Um, they were I think fifth down at this big Forest Park Invitational in Missouri two weeks ago. Um, so I'm not sure if they had their whole team up. I know they've got a transfer from O'Fallon. That's a real good okay, kid. Yeah, that's a, that's but he's not able to run, I guess, because of transfer rules. He may be in our sophomore race, Dustin Davidson, but um, you know he maybe will have some of those other uh, younger kids up. So we'll see how, how uh, Coach Porter runs that lineup. And then St. Uh, Xavier, Kentucky, was state champions in their state last year. Um, they were, I can't remember what I put on there, they were uh, 15, 16, 14th, something like that. 14th, in the, 14th in yeah. the uh, Nike National Meet, and I think uh, York was 6th last year. So we've got um, two two returnees on the uh, on the boys' side with pretty recent pedigrees. So that's kind of nice. We've got like Wheaton South's been in the national meet on the girls' side. Palatine's been in the national meet on the girls' side. Assumption. Assumption's been there two years in a row. On um, the boys' side, we've had uh, Loyola's been there. Palatine's been there. So we're starting to have a lot of teams that are coming out of this Palatine invite mix and being able to go to the national meet. Um, you know, Illinois-wise, uh, you know, I think some of the other teams to watch. Uh, uh, New Trier is just that's a great program for uh, Coach Wisner. I mean, they haven't quite, I don't think, put it all together the way Coach Wisner uh, would like, but I think that they're definitely dangerous. And, uh, you know, as they start uh, coming on at the end of the year, they're going to be real hard to beat. Um, they, they got uh, Chase Silverman, Pete Cazzarillas. They had two real good front runners. I think they were uh, right around 20th, both of them, last week at Peoria Notre Dame. So, real good races. Um, we got Hersey who's our, uh, one of our big MSL rivals. I mean, uh, Coach Reno has done like, an incredible job over there. They've got, I think they had 12 guys break 16-20 last week, so, so that's yeah, kind of like team. Palatine girls type depth going on. And, uh, you know, they had a huge breakout race last week from their junior star, uh, David Rodriguez. Uh, Dave, uh, I think he ran 14-40, he was third at Peoria Notre Dame. And then they're, they're going to be real dangerous because Andy Filippo is their number two, who's been out, I think, with... Uh, Achilles tendonitis, and uh, he ran like 15.10 last week, 15.09, somewhere, somewhere around there. Yeah. And he's at 9.22 two-miler, so when they get him back together, you know, running up there farther, they're going to be real dangerous, um, have, have two real low numbers. Uh, I'm trying to say it. Yorkville. Oh, yeah, Yorkville's been a great addition. Uh, you know, they were, I think they were third in Class 2A last year. And, you know, and both of the Yorkvilles, the guys and the girls, they're going to be up in 3A in a year or two. I think both uh, their coaches are anticipating they're going to be up here next year. So this is yeah. an anticipatory move. And just like they've got Bollinger on, uh, you know, as a, as a sophomore, a good young runner. Um, last year they had two twins, the Hoffer twins. I think they were 12th and 15th in 2A. And then, juniors now? Yeah, they're juniors yeah. now, so they're a year older than Bollinger. But they, um, 
they were actually, uh, I think it was, I can't remember, it was Luke or Jake, but uh, I think it was Jake, was uh, the top time at first to the finish two weeks ago at Delwater. He ran 1431. Jake, yeah. Yeah, Jake, and then his brother was, uh, I think, the number three, four time on the day at like 1439. So, I mean, obviously they're going to add some pedigree at the front, and then uh, we'll see how their, their depth goes. Um, St. Ignatius is a real good team. I think that uh, they were sixth in the Palestine invite last year. Um, they, they're moving on now without Jack Keelan, who is the you know, an a NXN guy and like a Foot Locker type guy. It was, uh, I think, 14.05 at Deltweiler last year, so definitely one of the fastest guys in the history of the state. They're moving on without him, but actually I think they have a better team. Yeah. Um, they got a sophomore, Dan Santino, who was, I think Santino was like 9.26 as a freshman last year, and uh, he ran 15 flat a couple weeks ago, and you know, they had all five guys break 15.45 a couple weeks ago, so they're, they're, they're looking tough. I know they got Chris Karabic, uh, one of their good seniors, is coming back from a stress fracture in his foot. So back this Saturday, yeah, yeah. And, he, and he ran at first to the finish, but uh, you know wasn't where he would expect to be. But I mean, he, but he should run with Santino. Yeah, uh, he did last last track season, the last cross season. So um, they're they're definitely going to be a team to watch. Um, you know, I don't know. Leave anybody out. Let's see. <laughs> anybody else that I left? Uh, I get that's it. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the top, top yeah. Those are kind of the top top teams. I mean, there's there's obviously a lot of depth. Um, just talk about Palatine real quick. We were ninth last week. You know, did not have the race that we wanted to have, but uh, certainly I think we're going to run a lot better this week. And I like how this team's coming along. Um, our junior front runner uh, Grant Brown uh, had an off race last week, but has run 14:55 on this course just in a dual meet two weeks ago. So uh, he should be able to be up there with the front leaders, um, pressing on uh, a real good time. And so we'll see how we how, how we pan out. I definitely think it's time for us to start beating some good teams. So no time like now. Um, individual wise, uh, it's it's kind of exciting. I uh, in some ways, I, I my my junior Graham Brown is uh, is is a real good runner in his own right. But we've got a lot of the best juniors here. Yeah, uh, Jesse He's Razor. Right. I mean, this kid from McKenna or McHenry is tough. I yeah, mean, I think he like like Co on the girls side. Uh, he's undefeated. and He's one of those guys that starting to put some scares into course records and. He hasn't really been touched, I think, in any meet. Yeah, he ran a pretty good meet against. Uh, I know he ran Zachdale from Conan okay. and. Uh, Somebody else two weeks ago, maybe at Lake Park or somewhere like that. I can't remember exactly what meet that was, but he beat some really good guys. And Zach Dale uh, from Conan, I know, was third in that race, and he's a 9-12 two-miler. And yeah, Dale just broke a yeah, course record yeah, at Manuka. Dale just broke a course record on the Manuka flight invite last week. Derek's record. Yeah, yeah, anytime it's a Chris Derrick record, that's a big deal. Yeah. You know, and, and Reese, I mean, he was uh, 9-05 in the two-mile last year as a sophomore, and I know he was uh, he was seventh in state cross, and I think 14-35, and I think if you go back through the times in the history of the state, I mean, that's one of the top 10 sophomore times that's ever been run at Deltweiler. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him approach, our course record's 1433, and the guys wouldn't be too surprised to see him dipping under 1440 in a real hot race. Um, other than that, I mean, we've got, and then the other junior, we got Matt Plowman from York, who uh, I think uh, that was the best cross country race I've seen him run last week. He ran 1447, and then his two teammates, uh, Alex Bashkawi and Nate Mraz. I mean, both those guys are, are real tough. Uh, Mraz was, uh, I think, 22nd in the state as a sophomore, but he had a pelvic stress fracture last year. So York was actually able to win the state title without him last year. Yeah, yeah. Then he brought it back. I think he ran the low 920s during track, and uh, he looked great last weekend. And then, you know, Bashkawi was uh, 27th last year in state cross and uh, really came on as an 800, 1600 guy. And I think it really shocked some people around the state last week just by, I mean, he ran 1440. Yeah. You know, I don't know if a lot of people thought he had that kind of pretty that kind of strength. And he looked really good, you know. And I got to see him running track uh, quite more than I wanted. And uh, he, he was certainly looking pretty tough then. Uh, another good story in here is uh, Pete Cazzarillas from uh, Nutrier. He and uh, Chase Silverman are kind of like 1 and 1A. One but I know uh, Pete and uh, Coach Wisner have gone through, like, about two years worth of stress fractures. He, he won the first race of the freshman. Yeah, he the ran the Hinsdale race. freshman meet. Uh, as, and I don't know if he ran, I don't know what he got in the Palatin, but okay, as a freshman, okay. but I know he came out of the box and won this uh, Hinsdale freshman race. And then he was like a 158, 159 freshman in one of their four rates. And then the guy has gone through like two straight years of broken legs. And yeah. just, I mean, one of those guys that probably could have quit a lot of different times. And, uh, you know, I think Coach, he and Coach Wisner have really like worked hard to, to get him like uh, you know fit again, so it's it's good to see a good kid running well again, um, you know. And then we got the Hoffer twins; uh, those guys uh, clearly are in great shape. They're both sub fourteen forty, so uh, and they're both also juniors. So uh, you could end up having a bit of a preview, if especially if the Hoffers move up to three A next year. Yeah, state, state a bit of a preview of like uh, what's coming uh, both this year and next year. 
So that's, that's pretty exciting uh, to have all those guys kind of mixing it up. You know, there's tons of other great guys in there. They're going to pop up and have Palatine and Bite style efforts. Um, so we'll, just, we'll see who those guys are. But, uh, yeah, should be good. Should be wait. All right. All right. Cool. See you Saturday. See you guys. <laughs> that's, like, so easy.